Hey everyone, welcome to our YouTube sessions. This is our first of 11 sessions that we're going to be doing on Ball Mastery. And today's session is entitled Back to Basics. Today's session we're going to work on toe taps, inside touches, a double tap, double inside touch, and some Brazilian toe taps. With each, uh, with each skill, we're going to do a little intro, then we're going to do 30 second practice and a 30 second challenge. In the 30 second challenge, you're going to see how many touches you can get in that time in the 30 seconds, and if you want, leave a comment with your, your name and how many touches you got and the skill that you did, All right? So when we go into our 30 second practice and our 30 second challenge, you're gonna see a timer that pops up in front of me, All right? And that's the timer that you're gonna utilize. So don't worry about having a watch, don't worry about having anything like that. Utilize the timer that is on the screen. But we've also got not just this camera right in front of me, we've got a camera along the ground here, which can shoot on the floor. You can see my feet, right? You can see the ball, you can see what I'm doing, right? And you can also see my face if I go like this, maybe not, right? So we are gonna switch back and forth through those cameras, right? So that you can see me straight on and also so you can see my feet manipulating the ball. Big thing with any ball mastery skills, right? You've gotta to work to your own ability. So whether this is an introduction skill or maybe down the line a more advanced skill, you work to your ability. So if you've done toe taps a thousand times, right, it's all about how quick you can do them and how many touches you can get. And if you're challenging yourself to go from one level to the next, if it's the first time you've done a skill, right, it's starting out by going maybe a little bit slower to build muscle memory and to build that feeling of finding the ball with your feet and getting comfortable and confident with the ball. So work at your own pace, work at your own speed, right? We like to relate things to music, find your own beat. Right, find your own rhythm, right? Work hard, right? Most importantly, have fun with it. So all of these things should be a challenge, right? And what I would suggest is that you have a journal, some some, some sort of tracking system for your skills, right? So today if we do toe taps and in the challenge you get 10, right? Maybe set yourself a goal for Friday to try to get to 15, right? And every time you do it, right, try to remember what you've got, right? If you're on 120 toe taps in 30 seconds, well, make sure you challenge yourself to try to get to 121, okay? So it's all about knowing where you are, right? And then setting a goal to try to get somewhere and working hard to achieve that goal, okay? So let's get started. So we're gonna start off with some simple toe taps and all that is, right? If it's uh, you've been here before or, or if you're a band soccer player, you know what toe taps are. If this is your first time with us, right? Just simple toe taps, right? Using the sole of our foot to tap down on the ball and we're treating the ball like it's an egg right? Not a boulder that we're trying to break through, but an egg that we're just trying to touch, right? Nice and cushiony, not crack, crack in the egg, okay? Right, and then as you feel more comfortable and more confident, you can try to increase your speed, right? Just alternating, right? Trying to stay up on the balls of your feet, right? Not falling back on your heels, right? Or leaning backwards, right? But keeping those shoulders going forward, right? And our knees over the ball, right? We find this little rhythm right here, right? That works for me, right? Maybe it's a slower rhythm that works for you, okay? So now we're gonna do our 30 seconds right, of practice, right? So find your rhythm. Maybe the first 10 seconds it's a little bit slower, and then the next 10 seconds quicker, and then the next 10 seconds quicker in our practice round. So ready, we're gonna start our practice. Three, two, one, go. Right, so what's your rhythm? And then if you're an advanced player, can you pick up your head and can you look at the timer? Can you see me on the screen? And then if we're a little bit newer to the game, right, we can just simply keep our head down to look at the ball and then glance up every now and again if you can, right? But as soccer players, we wanna to try to be able to look around and feel the ball. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Very well done, right? So as I said, big thing, soccer players, we don't always wanna have our head down. So no matter what skill we're doing, whether we're at practice or at a game, it's important to see and be aware of everything that's around us, All right? So we're walk, working on our ball mastery skills. When we get comfortable and confident with the ball, that helps us go from this position looking down to this position looking up, which opens up a whole world for us when we're playing on the field, okay? So now we're gonna do our 30 second challenge. Remember, find your rhythm, find your beat, but make it a challenge. And if you mess up and the ball rolls away, you go get it, you bring it back, and you keep going, right? So I want players, and we love players, who want to challenge themselves and aren't afraid of making mistakes, because mistakes are how we grow. 
right? So we're gonna go 30 seconds, as quick as you can, as many touches as you can in that time. Athletic, shoulders down, right? Good body position, good center of gravity, right? Moving those feet nice and quick. So ready, we're gonna go 30 seconds, starting in three, two, one, go. about 70 and then I needed to count down the timer and I can't count two things at once All right so I had about 70 touches in 30 seconds I don't do this very often so I'm hoping that some of you beat me pretty easily okay so again what you got now I got 70 if I was still playing I would say by Friday I want to hit 80 and I'm gonna work on it Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and then hopefully by Friday I can hit that 80 mark that I was looking for, okay? Very well done, we're gonna move on to our next skill. The next one we're gonna do, inside touches. So again, a basic foundation skill. Being able to move the ball side to side between our feet. Some people call them foundations, some people call them bells, some people call them TikToks. We just call them inside touches, keep it nice and simple. All right, so we're going in between our feet, All right, knees bent. Nice, easy touches between our feet. All right, again, don't always want to have our head down here, right? But want to be able to look up, right? And go back and forth if we can, right? But always, like I said, keep working at your own rhythm, at your own beat. So this is okay, right? Back and forth. And then we want to try to get to this nice and quick between our feet. And again, it's okay if we make a mistake, okay? The other thing we don't want when we do our inside touches is we don't want big penguin waddling feet back and forth, right? We want to keep everything nice and streamlined, nice and close, right? Legs should be about shoulder width apart, okay? Nice and tight, right? Just like we're running. So I'm jogging in place, but knocking the ball back and forth between my feet, okay? Do our 30 seconds of practice, right? Find your rhythm, right? And go from there All right so in three two one off you go so I'm gonna start off nice and slow All right maybe your beat this too maybe your beats a little bit faster All right so I feel comfortable now I'm gonna increase my speed All right back and forth touch touch All right back and forth good All right maybe now I can go a little bit quicker I'm feeling really confident now Five, four, three, two, one, time. Woo. Right? So again, your own beat, your own music. Right? So I showed three different variations of it, nice and slow, without a medium pace, and then a quicker pace. Right? Again, I'm past my playing days. So some of you are gonna go, oh that's not that fast. Good. You should be faster than me. You're a player now. I'm just a coach. Ready? So we're gonna go 30 second challenge. How many touches can you get? This time I'm gonna really work hard to try to count down and up at the same time to try to get an exact number for you, but I'll do my best. Ready? So every time we touch it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? How many can you get? Again, go as fast as you can. This isn't about being simple, this is a challenge. So try to go as fast as you can. Make that mistake, go get your ball, bring it back. Go as fast as you can again, ready? 30 second challenge, three, two, one, go. So. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Counting up and counting down at the same time is impossible. I was at 
95 when we got to five seconds. Um, so see if you can beat that 95. All right, so 95 for me in 25 seconds. Uh, I think maybe I got around to 110 from there. But again, counting up, counting down. Very difficult, right? But again, make sure whenever we're doing our skills, good athletic position, right? Knees bent, right? No matter what, shoulders going forward, no leaning way back, losing our balance, right? Very well done. Big thing with our toe taps and our inside touches. They're the foundation for all of our ball mastery skills, right? Being able to feel the ball soft under your feet, just touching it. Right, being able to move it side to side between your feet. Right, those are the foundations to building up to our more advanced skills. So as we go through our 11 weeks, it's important that you work on all the skills that we are doing in this video. Right, so if you watch this video on Monday, work on the skills till the next time you watch the next video. Right, if you work, watch it one on Tuesday, make sure you work on your skills till the next time you watch the next video. Because it's building layers, right? We're building the house. There's our foundation. Now we want to build our pretty house on top of it with nice windows, a roof, 10 bedrooms, maybe a pool inside, who knows, right? Let's get creative with it. Okay, so now we're gonna take our two skills, our toe touches, right, and our inside touches, and we're gonna combine them into one ball mastery skill, right? So we're gonna do double tap, double inside touch. So very simply, we're gonna go touch, touch, inside, inside, tap, Tap, inside, inside. All right, so two toe taps, two inside touches. All right, nice and easy. All right, so it's tap, tap, inside, inside. And you can say it to yourself in your head as you're going, or out loud if you need to, All right, to help you find your rhythm. All right, so tap, tap, inside, inside, tap, tap, inside, inside, tap, tap, inside, inside. Whatever your beat is, whatever your music is. So tap, tap, inside, inside, right? Sometimes saying it to ourselves, to our head, helps us and helps our body remember the movement, okay? All right, so tap, tap, inside, inside. Nice and gentle, all right? The ball's an egg. It's not a rock or a boulder that you're trying to break through, all right? We want the ball to become an extension of our own foot, not something that we try to kill, right? We want it to be something that it's attached to our foot and we can use in the way we want to. Okay? So ready? We go 30 second practice. Double tap, double inside touch. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay? Right. Keep it going nice and athletic. Okay? Right. Try not to lean back and lose that balance. So we don't want to see this. All right? We want to be here. Tap, tap, inside, inside, tap, tap, inside, inside. What's your music? Right, I'm gonna slow it down just so maybe we can see it in a slower motion. While you're practicing, you need to look. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, time. Right? Very well done. Right? So, again, I just wanted to slow it down the last little bit so, in case anyone needed to see it at a slower motion. motion. They could do that, okay? Again, now's the time. We go into our 30 second challenge where you try to do it as quick as you can and you're not worried about if you get a thousand or if you get 90 but made a bunch of mistakes because the mistakes are fine, right? So that's how we get better, right? If you make in the 30 seconds, you make five mistakes, that's fine. Get your ball, bring it back, keep going, keep going, do the best that you can, ready? So as quick as you can now, ready? 30 seconds. Tap, tap, inside, inside. On your mark, get set, go. Again, can you pick your head up every once in a while? Look into the camera, wave. I haven't even bothered counting this time. I'll go back in the video and count later. Five. Four, three, two, one, time. Very well done. Excellent. Now, make sure obviously that you've been working hard. Doesn't seem like a lot of work to do four skills, but working hard in those increments, right? Working to your best ability 
Your legs might start to feel a little bit heavy, breathing a little bit tired, hard, hard, breathing hard, right? Maybe need a drink of water and that's okay. So now when we take this little break, grab yourself a drink whenever you get a chance. The last skill for the day that we're gonna do, we're gonna do Brazilian toe taps. And if you're a dancer, these are gonna be very easy for you, right? If you are not a dancer, I'm giving you some lessons now that maybe you'll use in prom one day. Who knows, right? So Brazilian toe taps. We start a little bit to the side of our ball, right? And we go touch with the foot that's closest to the ball, over, touch. Now we come down for balance and our foot goes behind to touch, right? So my right foot goes behind there. So then it goes across, two, three, touch, right? And then I go back across one, two, three, one, two, three, touch, touch, behind. So tap, tap, behind, tap, tap, behind, right? This was a sweet dance move back in the 80s when I was a kid. All right? So Brazilian toe tap. So we go touch, across, touch, across, get our balance, behind, touch, touch, behind, all right? Again, this is now a little challenging one, more advanced one in terms of just our toe taps. So this might be one that we take slow just to create that muscle memory. So touch, touch, behind, touch, touch, behind, okay? We go 30 seconds of practice, all right? Go at your speed, go at your rhythm, all right? It's a great thing it's on video. I didn't have a lot of this stuff when I was a kid, so you can see it, you can play it back. You can look at it again, go at your own pace, right? Just take the challenge. Don't worry about it, whether you're doing it well or not, right? And if you can do it well, try to do it as fast as possible. Ready, three, two, one, go. So touch, touch, behind, right? So little touches on top with that little flare foot going behind, right? Gotta have that little hip movement so that you can get the ball with that foot that goes behind as well. Uh oh, messed up, that's okay. Three, two, one, ah, oh, time! Counting skills, not my forte. Very well done, right? So this is gonna be our last challenge. Our last 30 seconds to work as hard as we can and get as many touches as you can. The only difference between this one and the other touches, right, is that the only time we count is when we get this behind touch. That's one. Now that's two. Now that's three. Now that's four. So it's only the foot that goes behind that we're gonna count. Okay? So 30 seconds of challenge. This is all about balance. This is all about coordination. This is all about our center of gravity. This is all about how quickly we can adjust our feet which are obviously all vital things when we're soccer players, right? On that field, when there's a lot of players around us, can I sort out my feet? Can I manipulate the ball? Can I move it where I want, right? Can I beat the players that are around me? Ready? Here we go, 30 seconds challenge. How many can you do? On your mark, get set, go. We're getting a little crazy here. I'm out of control. That's okay. How many can you do? How many can you do? Right? If you make a mistake, it's all right. Oh no, I made a mistake. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. I don't do my own ball skills very often. So after four of those, 30 seconds each, minute each, right? My legs are feeling it a little bit right now. Yours are too, that's okay. I'm old, you're not, right? But if you're working hard like I am, then maybe you are, because you might've been working at a much higher pace than I was, okay? You've done very well. I hope to see you boys and girls next week. I hope you come back and check out our videos. I hope that we can be live next week. Right? I know this was a tough one. I, I thank you for bearing through 
our technical difficulties, make sure you go into the comments section, right? Tell us your high scores for each of your skills. Set yourself a goal that you want to get to the end of the week, right? How many toe touches? How many inside touches? How many double tap, double insides? How many Brazilians can I get on Friday, right? Where was I today, right? So set yourself a goal for the future and try to hit that goal, right? Make sure maybe you subscribe to our channel. We put some videos up every now and again, right? We're going to try to keep putting more up. So subscribe to the YouTube channel as well, right? And we'll see you guys and girls next time.